Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Steelers sign W.R. Jacob Copeland to practice squad, release S. Jalen Elliott. The Pittsburgh Steelers made a practice squad swap Tuesday, signing W.R. Jacob Copeland to the team's practice squad. In a corresponding move, the team released S. Jalen Elliott. This isn't Copeland's first time on the roster. Pittsburgh signed him to the practice squad on September 12, carrying him for nearly a month until releasing him October 3 to make room for W.R. Denzel Mims. Copeland split time between Maryland and Florida in college. Undrafted, he signed with the Tennessee Titans and has also spent time with the Minnesota Vikings. Checking in at 5,112 and 201 pounds, he showed his wheels at the NFL Combine, blazing a 4.4240 time. He also jumped in the broad. Across his college career, he caught 112 passes for 1,742 yards and 11 touchdowns. He also has light kick return experience, returning eight of them his final year at Maryland. He's never appeared in an NFL game. Copeland's signing could be tied to W.R. Calvin Austin III's ankle injury. While not deemed significant by Mike Tomlin, the Steelers' coach noted Austin could be limited early in the week and participation would be the team's guide to whether he plays Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. Elliott being released is a good sign for F.S. Minka Fitzpatrick, whom Tomlin said will practice in some capacity Wednesday. He's missed the last four games and most of a fifth with a hamstring injury. Elliott was signed by the Steelers during training camp and released at final cutdowns. In our post-camp evaluation of him, we wrote, another mid-camp ad to help get the team through the summer, Elliott is a skinnier-framed player without much speed or athleticism. But he'll come up and tackle and isn't afraid to do the dirty work. He split time between free and strong safety in camp and saw 65 reps during the preseason so he got plenty of burn to share with teens when he's released and getting on the in-season tryout circuit. He was signed back to the Steelers' practice squad on October 31st. Elliott has appeared in eight NFL games, all coming with the Detroit Lions in 2021. Najee Harris nominated for Week 12 Angry Runs by Good Morning Football. One week after Pittsburgh Steelers RB Jalen Warren took home Good Morning Football's Angry Run Award, the other head of the two-headed backfield has received a nomination. Najee Harris was a big part of the Steelers' win over the Cincinnati Bengals in Week 12 and has been nominated for this week's award for an old-school, throwback run right up the middle. Here is the segment posted by Good Morning Football on X. On the first play of the Steelers' first field goal drive, Harris took the ball up the middle. At first, it looked like the play would get stopped for a gain of about five yards as Harris ran into the thick of the rugby scrum. By my count, nine Bengals defenders were a part of that scrum and made some form of contact with Harris, yet he somehow emerged on the other side of the pile for a 20-yard gain. Harris covered the football with both hands to protect the football and then kept pounding his legs until he broke through the pile. Leading the way in the pile were rookie O.T. Broderick Jones and T.E. Connor Hayward, but the entire offensive line generated great push and played all the way through the whistle. Also nominated for the award this week are W.R. Isaiah Hodgins of the New York Giants and R.B. Corderell Patterson of the Atlanta Falcons. If Harris wins the award, he will have the second most angry run awards since they started the tradition with five, trailing just RB Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans. Harris has caught a lot of flack since being drafted in the first round. There is a certain level of expectation for first-round draft picks, and while Harris has back-to-back 1,000-plus-yard -back seasons to start his NFL career, people still question the first-round investment in him. Especially with the emergence of Warren, who was an undrafted free agent. Against the Bengals, it was Harris, not Warren, who led the way. Harris finished with 99 yards on 15 carries, and he also scored the Steelers' only touchdown of the game. He had two explosive plays of 20 or more yards. Being able to generate explosive plays on the ground has been a critique of Harris since getting drafted. He had seven explosive plays in 2021 and just three in 2022, but already has eight this season with six regular season games left to play. He is tied for the league lead in explosive runs. While he may never emerge as a guy who can break away 60 or 70 yard runs like Warren, Harris has proven he can generate explosive plays with consistency. Harris has 598 yards on 143 rushing attempts this season and has scored four rushing touchdowns. 
he has also added an additional 116 receiving yards on 19 receptions. There is a chance for Harris to reach the 1,000-yard mark for his third straight season, especially with the way the Steelers' running game has been trending. Shaq Leonard appears to leak details about the decision between Steelers and Eagles. The Steelers are still in a battle with the Philadelphia Eagles to sign free agent Shaq Leonard. Steelers' rumors reveal the three-time All-Pro is leaving Steelers without a deal. Leonard is now expected to visit the Eagles on Wednesday. Leonard appears to have leaked new details about his upcoming visit to Philadelphia and his decision timeline. Bleacher Report NFL insider Jordan Schultz reports that Leonard is expected to make a decision this weekend. Sources for at Bleacher Report, former Colts All-Pro LB Darius Leonard had a successful visit with the Steelers and is expected to meet with the Eagles next, Schultz said in a November 28 series of tweets. A decision is expected over the weekend. Shaq Leonard has several suitors and Philly is eager to get him in the building with the hopes of signing him for the playoffs. Steelers fans will certainly take this as a bad sign, while Eagles fans need to feel better about their chances with a potential finals visit. There's also a chance Leonard could visit other teams if the star doesn't immediately sign with Philly. According to Diana Rossini of The Athletic, Leonard's visit to the Steelers went well, but that didn't stop the Eagles' rumors from heating up. LB Shaq Leonard, whose visit to Steelers went well, left without a deal, Rossini detailed on November 28. I'm told he will make his decision over the weekend, per source. If Steelers fans are looking for a silver lining from the news, Steelers has more room to play than Philadelphia. Track estimates Steelers has $10.8 million in cap space remaining, compared to Philadelphia's $1.7 million. That said, if Leonard wants to sign with the Eagles, it's likely general manager Howie Roseman will find a way to make it happen. Visiting both teams, and potentially others, makes the most sense for Leonard to land the more lucrative deal. I just mentioned that this is the plan. Steelers is not allowing anything, noted CBS Sports' Jocena Anderson on November 28. It's Shaq Leonard's decision. From a business standpoint, it makes sense to take advantage of their market and this NFC East free agency battle. The NFL insider also added that the Steelers remain in contention to sign Leonard. It's not a bad sign that Leonard didn't sign a deal while on Steelers. Also as for Leonard's visit with the Cowboys, my understanding is the feeling in Dallas is he can contribute, Anderson said. Don't read anything into Leonard not signing right away. Leonard is being given room right now to make a decision, though if Leonard chooses Dallas the current asterisk expectation is that he would not play this weekend. Don't be surprised if Leonard visits additional teams beyond the Eagles and Cowboys. NFL Network's Jane Slater reports Leonard plans to visit with a couple other teams. I'm told LB Shaq Leonard has left the star in Frisco, Slater tweeted on November 28. Per a source he's going to visit a couple other teams before making a decision. The Eagles and Cowboys rumors are going to keep swirling until Leonard reveals his decision. Leonard has connections with former teammates and coaches on both teams. And you fan, what do you think of the Shaq Leonard situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.